a company called Grok, which is known for its really fast response. 1247 token per second, which is insane, has recently released Llama 3 Grok tool use model. Now, this seems like familiar to Llama 3. And yes, exactly it is because they have created this Llama 3 Grok models built with Meta Llama 3. This is really useful because now we are going to use this tool use thing to search on the internet using the DuckDuckGo search engine in a Google Collab. Everything in this video. So welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and we are going to talk about the Grok new Llama 3 tool use models in this video. So if you have not yet subscribed, go and hit subscribe button, which is very important for me. And now without wasting time, let's get started. So first of all, why Grok? Or what is Grok? So Grok is basically an AI infrastructure company which focuses on creating LPUs. That's a new name called LPU. Yes. So LPU basically stands for Language Processing Unit. Consider it as a hardware thing which can process the LM thing super duper lightning fast speed. So it provide hardware and software platform that deliver exceptional compute speed. That's we saw here on this example, 1247 token per second, insane. Okay, now why we are going to talk about this Llama 3 tool use. So see, a model is only going to give you response with its own limited knowledge. But what if you want any real-time knowledge, like what's happening right now? So any model doesn't know anything because it's trained on previous data or the past data we have. So what if we can tell to the model that, hey, there is a function which can get you the latest information about anything you want. And then you can get that data and create the response according to the latest data you get from the function or from the tool. And that's why we are going to use the tool use thing in the Llama 3 Grok new model. And why this is really, really amazing? Because see, it says that the Grok 70 billion tool use model is the highest performing model on the Barclays function calling leaderboard. This means it is really, really powerful in function calling or the tool calling thing. Okay, so here we can use three different models, the Grok Cloud Developer Hub, and basically these 70 billion and 8 billion Llama 3 Grok tool use models. The licensing is exactly similar to the Llama 3, so you don't have to worry about it. And you can check that 70 billion Llama 3 Grok tool use model is having 90.76% all overall accuracy that's really powerful and if you see here it's given overfitting they have actually used a synthetic data to fine tune these model but this data the synthetic data has low contamination rate that means it has not degraded the performance of these models the llama models so how we can use it here it's given you can use these two models but to use it you can go to the grok click here at the bottom it says start building if you go here you will land on to this page and now go to the api keys which is the first thing we need if you don't have the api key click on create give the name and your api will be here so i will say grok tutorial and i hit it and I got this key and I just copied it. Go to my Google Collab. Here I have installed the Grok through pip like this. And then on the next cell, I'm going to say, hey, from Grok, import the Grok, create a new instance of the Grok by passing the API key I just have created. And then it is just like you use any OpenAI or any other LLM model because exactly behind the scene it's Llama and you can start building just like you do. Here I'm using 70 billion normal Llama 3.1 model and if I hit 
enter you can see it's going to give me the response because it's running here right now and very soon we will get the answer and you can see we are getting the answer 4855 year old tree but what if i ask the temperature temperature in indoor city because i'm from indoor city india so if i hit enter now let's see what this will going to return and now it says as a large language model i don't have real time access and that's the point so we need to use the tool now how do we use the tool here it's given you first need to use these model not that llama 3.1 model you can use that tool thing because in the 3.1 tool support is there but it's not that accurate which is given in the grok llama 3 model so if you go here inside this where you have created the keys now it's time to get started with the settings and on the setting uh, on the documentation you can search for the model and now search for the grok model and here we go so grok model is this 70 billion tool use which really we want just copy this id model id and provide it here now if I provide it, still it will going to say same thing that I don't have uh, weather information. So it says uh, I will need access to weather information location. Can you provide if you have the temperature in the Celsius? So it need the data to provide the data. We will going to add the tool support. So I'm going to copy everything from here and going to create new code here. Paste it. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to write the tool. So first thing I'm going to do is move this messages out here and messages is like this and also I'm going to provide the tool. So tools is equal to I'm going to provide an array and here I will provide the tool. But before that, let's fix this. So I'll say messages comes here and also tools is tools we will have here now first of all what kind of tool we need we need a function kind of tool and then i'm going to define what this function is going to be so this function need a name which is a get weather this is the function we are going to create right now in our python file and this is very important to describe what this function is going to do according to this the model will decide whether to use this function or not so get the weather of a city now what next after that we can also provide the parameters so uh, we need to say like parameters and we provide the parameter as object and inside that we have the property called city and here is the city name in string so just like here you describe what this function is all about what property we are going to pass is defined here in the description so now our tool is here let's create the function at the top so i say get weather so this has to be exactly same what we have defined here so that it can call and now it will get the city how do i get the weather for the city instead of using any weather api i'm going to use the Duck, duck, go. So I'll say pip uh, duck, duck, go. So here we get it. Now copy this and go to my Google Collab. And just above this, I'm going to create it and say, hey, install the duck, duck, go. So I'm going to provide the hyphen Q for the quiet. I don't want any result to come in, in the description or in the detail here. And now once we have the duck, duck, go, how we can use it it's very easy we can just import this and get the result like this so inside this get weather i'm going to provide duckduckgo and then i'll say the uh, question so maybe we can generalize it instead of get weather we can say um, search search internet okay so here instead of city i will get the question and here I'm getting the question. I'm providing the five result, top five result. And then I need to return with JSON dot 
dumps of the result now obviously we need to import the json so import json got it here and uh, once we have all these things let's uh, modify this so search internet and uh, uh, get the latest information from the internet searching okay and now instead of city i'll say question so i'll say question you want to uh, search on internet okay so we need to provide that required is this search internet everything is good and let's try to run this and it says i don't have the capability to perform this task so for this to fix this i need to provide a system prompt so here i'll say system and then the content is i already have copied and this one which says that you are a tool user assistant use search internet function to perform web search if need to use any tool feel free to use without any permission and let me fix the prompt what is the temperature in indoor india city okay so let's hit this and uh, when we search it uh, i have some issue i forgot to add the comma and now when we run it you see this time it says tool calls and in that it defined that i need the function is going to be uh, function name where is the name yeah search internet and the question is temperature in indoor india that's great so we need to find out if it's really asking to call any tool or not this is really the way we can check so what we need to do is we need to once again say here that if we have the chat dot choices first message dot tool if we have the tool then since this tool is in um, multiple tools so we can just loop over it so i can say for tool in uh, whatever this is and then since i have the tool then i will say a hey, i need to run the function so first of all i need to say available uh, functions available functions is equal to a dictionary of search internet this is how we pass on the real function in this way and then we say like function to call we can get that from chat so here let's do one by one so now we say tool and tool is having function function is having name then once we have this then we need to get the arguments so we can get the argument by saying json dot loads tool dot function dot arguments and finally we call this function which is actually this available search because we are getting from this available function and make sure its spelling is correct so function okay nice so we have this and once we have this we are calling this function with the argument of question and then let's print out to see what will be the response for now okay so we should get the response and i'm going to just comment the last print and see what's going to happen this time it should get the answer from the internet using duckduckgo and you can see we are getting this answer five results from duckduckgo and this is how we get the result okay so now we have the result we need to pass this to the messages we have so we are appending the message and we are appending the role as tool tool call id is tool id and the content which we are getting from duckduckgo response finally once we have this message then at last we can just do one more search just like this and we say something here and this time it's doing one more and at last we do this print again so let's do this and see what's going to happen so i'm having this result 
and see what's going to happen the temperature in indoor city is 75 degrees celsius with low clouds and this is in fahrenheit not in celsius so i need in celsius so result uh, must be in celsius okay let's see this time it should give me in celsius and which is nice 75 degrees celsius uh, 75 degree Fahrenheit which is 23.89 degrees Celsius now let's search for temperature in indoor and here we go it's 25 okay no worries a little bit can be adjustable and this is how you can use the tool to do anything now let's do something else something which is really really current so right now um, Olympic is happening so what is the latest news about Paris Olympic 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 like this okay let's see what's going to happen what is the latest news here's the latest news about uh, Paris Olympic welcome to the 24 summer Olympic uh, follow the world at least and uh, yeah so that's that's great that's really nice so we can see that yes we are getting lots of information and this is all from the internet and formatted for us now we can do one more thing that uh, we can add one line in the system prompt is summarize all the result you get from internet if available and this way it's not going to give you exact result it's going to summarize the content for you so that you can read it easily and now you can see there is no link inside it because we said let's just summarize it wow so that's super duper nice super duper night and super duper fast with the use of grok in just let's see in just uh, two second in just two second we are getting all the information from internet and formatted for you everything is done because of grok amazingly fast model which it's uh, llama 3 grok 70 billion tool use okay now if you have any question related to this grok or if you want me to create more content about the grok just let me know in the comment section and if you just subscribe to this bitfumes youtube channel i'm going to get motivation to create more content like this and also you can hit like button that's just uh, information that you are really appreciating my work so see you in the next video till then goodbye